can you give me maybe some hints and tips for becoming a better lead as well as a better follow? Um, yeah, I, I say probably, um, a tip that I, w- that I really like to give a lot of leads is to try, try to lead with your hands behind your back and truly start trying to lead without using your hands as the primary source. Like, like, like your leading can come from so many different things in your body. And the primary place that your leading comes from is your hands. So if you take that away and start building up the other parts in your dance and in your lead, like, like what else can you, if you wanted to do a Saida, what could you use other than your hands to help give you the feeling of a Saida for the follow and then have her follow that and then bring your hands back into it, but be very light. I feel like when you grab the follow or like when you hold her or try to like do things too, too, too um, forcefully on the hands, then you, you really stop yourself from being free because you take on her, her, you take on her weight, you take on her, uh, um, her indecisiveness if if she does if she's like second guessing herself to me the best thing to do is you lead and let her walk wherever she wants and and have that be your interaction with her like where she's completely free and you're not constricting her as a lead I've yeah, heard, and as oh i want to talk about that real quick um see i've heard people yeah. say you know it's preferable to use your body as a lead and not the hands man yeah, and, and so I'm curious. Um, like, is there a reason why? Like, is it negative or is it bad to use the hands as a lead? Like, why why is it more better to use, you know, the chest? Like I said, the body than the hands. It's not even just the chest; it's the whole body. And okay. And uh, like, like I use my legs. I probably use my legs more than anything else. Like leg leading, I use my leg. But the the reason why is because, like, just think of like physics. Like, if you put, if you want to move an object one meter and you push at one point on that object then all of the force to move that object one meter comes from one point but if you distribute if you have like five or six points that you just want to move the same object one meter you don't have to push as hard you don't need as much force and that's what it really comes down to because like a lot of complaints that i hear from follows is that guys are too forceful or they're Yay. basically throwing them around Okay. And basically what you want to do is you want to lead lightly so that the follow can enjoy the dance and more importantly she can express herself which will completely change the dance when you have a dynamic of like lead and follow and two people are actually dancing versus one person's just just like leading and the other right, person's right. just right um but. I I want to get I want to get into the follows man but real quick man um how can leads become you know lighter lead so like what is something we can do to get better at that practice dancing with your hands behind your back hey right, shona <laughs> yeah put, or, or put, or put your hand put your hands in your pockets and and whatever whatever step that you want to do find a way to lead that step without using your hands just okay. figure figure out a way even if it looks strange or uncomfortable just by you doing this gives you more confidence as a lead because you can see that it's possible to lead things in different ways and it's also just taking the force off of the the lower back of the follow okay okay so enough 